Hey, what's up, y'all? I am Brittany Giselle, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Also, welcome back to 25 Days of Brit as I count down to my birthday. In today's video, I wanted to do a quick little get ready with me chit chat. My chit chat is regarding dating, my thoughts on marriage, my thoughts on happiness and singleness, things like that. So if you are ready to hear what my thoughts were on it, make sure that you keep on watching. Before we get into it though, I want to say if you haven't yet, make sure you hit the subscribe button, sis. Leave some comments down below and also press the thumbs up button to get my video circulating around YouTube. Now let's go ahead and get into the video. I actually have a few new products that I'm going to be trying out first. This is Laura Mercier powder. I got it from Sephora for my as my birthday gift. So it came with a little powder and then a little crayon. What is it called? Uh, caviar stick eye color. I might use that too. We'll see. The Elf Halo Glow Liquid Filter. Yeah, I was I couldn't wait to get my hands on this. So I'm gonna be trying it for the first time. I'm gonna be using these Ioni lashes. They are wispy, full dramatic. So pretty and then i have well i've already tried this but the duo glue it's line it lash it adhesive so instead of putting it on the lashes i can put it directly onto my eyelids like an eyeliner which we ain't gonna talk about that <laughs> what's the first thing i want to do i haven't done my makeup in so long that i don't even know I feel like I can't do makeup like I hate when I go through this feeling because I'm like where do I start I have so many products I'm constantly buying products and then they just pile up so let me start off with my primer I'm going to do the power grip primer from elf now I'm going to apply my um the brow glue from NYX because my eyebrows are getting kind of bushy so I don't feel like I want to do much to them today so I'm going to apply this and I don't really like applying I like this, I like the way that it works, but what I don't like about it is that like glue, dried glue look it gives me. I don't know, if anyone has any tips on how to fix that, let me know because I don't really like the way that that, like after look, the way, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, but I use it every once in a while, the days that I don't feel like doing my brows. I put this on and then I usually do my brows last, like it's one of the last things I do my makeup routine so i'll just fill it in with a little bit of color maybe it's that my brows just they're two different shapes they're not sisters they're cousins <laughs> when it comes to brows i well makeup in general i don't feel like a pro at all like i just do what works for me i'm not here to give any makeup tips i'm just showing you how i do my makeup because that's what works so, just wanted to throw that out there, lay it down. All right, we're going to leave it at that. I'm going to go ahead and put on my lashes, and then I'll be back, because I cannot do lashes on camera. Like, I'm not even finna embarrass myself the way that I be having to put my lashes on. <laughs> it is not cute. Hi, everyone. Somebody wanted to come in and say hi. <laughs> what? I can't. Majority you supposed you supposed to be reading, so why are you in my business? I came I don't here know. to get a snack, and I heard he's talking. Well, go so get your snack and go back to reading. Okay. All right. So the lashes are on to the best of my ability. There, I have a couple little gaps, but I ain't worried about it. I am not. I'm not sitting here and stressing about these lashes today. <laughs> I'm not gonna do it let's get into the girl chat real quick before i keep going if i miss any of these items i'm sorry because i'm not really good at like doing get ready with me's and talking at the same time it's a little it's a little hard but i got some topics here that i want to talk about i'm going to be using this magic what is it called magic skin beauty it's a bb cream and it helps with redness so i like to apply that onto my cheeks because they're super red but let's get into these topics right so Happy in my singleness is something I want to talk about. I am extremely happy. Like a lot of dating, let me start off with this. A lot of dating questions keep coming up. Like, are you dating? Do you want to date? All this stuff. And the reason why I decided to talk about this during my 25 days of Brit is because it's almost my birthday, but I, the last relationship that I had, I ended and I ended it because of many, many different things. And that was two years ago it's going to be almost two years but it was literally like right before my birthday so when it comes to 
happiness and taking care of ourselves like we have to remember that in our lives like we come first we have to take care of ourselves first and if we don't and we let people come into our lives and take advantage of us and do all these things and you let it keep happening you're never going to get out that cycle so i had to get to a space where i let go of a toxic person a toxic relationship even though things occur that like i still think about things or that it hurts like it's, sometimes it can still hurt or bother but we have to get into a space that we think about ourselves first we put our happiness first and aside from me ending the relationship which um i tried to fix on so many different levels looking forward now i'm so happy two years later like i'm so happy in my singleness i don't have to worry about another person i literally worry about myself and my child and that's it like i absolutely love that about this stage of my life i'm gonna go in with two concealers they're both from elf the hydration camos and one is in the color medium peach and the other is medium golden i like to mix them up i like a little lighter and uh darker one but yeah like long story short when it comes to my happiness i every time that i've ever ended a relationship in my life when whenever a relationship has ended in my life i take that time after to reflect on it to like learn myself to love on myself more because i'm the type of person that when i'm in a relationship i'm fully invested and i've lost myself in relationships plenty of times because i'm such a giving person like i'm i i want to love i want to be loved and i give my all but that's the reason why i don't think like i'm in a space or ready to be in any relationships because i have to take care of myself first myself and my son are the most important people that i need to be looking out for and when it comes to my happiness aside from my son like i just i like being able to just get up and go do things when i want to not um i don't know how to explain it i just like the you see the difference wow it makes such a difference and i don't even like wearing concealer that much <laughs> But yeah, when you're single, you can you don't have to worry about another person like telling them what your plans are, what you want to do, or having to correlate your plans with them. It's just so much less of a headache. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's a less of a headache and hassle and just something I don't have to worry about. Yeah, it's nice when you're in a relationship, when you're in a relationship in a, a positive, happy one. But Coming from the relationships that I've had, I'm just like, being single is much more peaceful. It's I'm so much more happier and vibrant. I can also focus on things that I want to do for myself. I fully had my full attention on my own girl, personal goals. And yeah, I can't, I feel like I can't find a word to explain it at this moment. But if you're single and you're happy in your singleness, you will know. Like you can tell the difference between being happy in your singleness and being miserable in like a toxic or negative bad situation you can absolutely tell the difference of how you feel when you're in it yeah that's something that i knew i wanted to talk about because people are like oh do you want a relationship like are you talking to anyone and i'm just like no i don't want to talk to anyone i don't want to give that energy i don't want to give that I don't want to say power, but it does because I put my all into relationships and getting to know people. It takes away from me. And I'm not at a point, I'm in a point in my life where I'm not ready to give that up, to be entertaining and having conversations and just like the the beginning talking stages of what's your favorite color? I don't feel like it. I, I'm just, I don't, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that no more. Either you know it or you don't. But I feel like in the future, obviously, when I meet someone that I'm interested in, and I'm going to want to be in that. But as of right now, I just don't feel like it. I don't feel like talking. I don't feel like texting. I don't feel like reading good morning texts every day. <laughs> like, I'm not here for it at all. Like, I don't like I don't want to. So that's something that I quickly wanted to touch on because like who said being single is not where it's at because it is with me everybody most majority of people that i know that are in relationships like you're gonna go through shit in relationships regardless but i just feel like everyone in relationships like around me is just going through stuff and i don't wanna <laughs> i sound selfish but i don't care it's my life like that's what makes me happy so that's 
my quick thoughts on it but let's move on because this is why i can't i can't multitask doing both my next step is going to be i'm gonna try the elf um halo glow filters marriage goals isn't for everyone so i feel like so many people push marriage or have this big grandiose views on marriage and marriage to me personally again i'm speaking from my perspective from my opinions my thoughts my views um we all have different views on things but for me marriage it's not something that I aspire to have. To me, it's not the end goal. And that's because marriage is literally the same shit to me as being in a relationship, except you've had to sign a paper, you're legally binded with each other, and that's it. Like, that's it. To me, marriage is literally like a piece of paper, possibly a ceremony, a honeymoon, like, I get it. Like, you want to... So, a lot of people want to experience that. And that's fine. Like, if that's what you want. I just... I've never aspired to be married. Like, if it happens, cool. I'm, I'm definitely okay with it. I just don't think of it as, like, my end goal. Like, I don't think of finding a life partner, someone that I love and can be with for the rest of my life, and then think of marriage with it. As long as my relationship with that person is the best that I've ever had, like what I want, what I deserve, that's my end goal. Marriage, piece of paper, ceremonies, all that extra stuff, a lot of money that you have to spend. And I'm not, I'm not, I'm not crazy about it. Like, I, I, it's not... I feel like it's not for everyone and that leads me into am i putting too much yeah all right let me blend that in before i keep going <laughs> so that takes me into like my next um part of that is i don't aspire to have marriage and that i feel like that topic has a lot of different point of views for me but that's because i also didn't grow up seeing happy healthy marriages so that's why it's not something that I like I haven't grown up seeing it and wanting it therefore it's not something that I aspire to have as an adult the one thing that I aspire to have would be a family like a close-knit family big family that does outings and parties and celebrations together like that they get along every family has their own shit but like I don't know. Like, I want some Medea-type family. We got a little drama, but at the end of the day, we still love each other. Like, I don't know how to explain it, but that's what I want. I feel like growing up in a toxic environment, seeing domestic violence, seeing abuse, seeing cheating, all types of different things, it, it didn't give me that feeling, that yearning to be like, oh, I want to grow up and be married. No, it, it totally turned me off from that. And the one thing that saddens me about it is that I haven't been able to give that to my son like I haven't been able to give him a full-on positive relationship of me and a man so he also hasn't had that in his life you know to I don't know if he's gonna aspire to it you know we all have different wishes for ourselves and visions but I haven't been able to provide that in my life to in a sustainable way to then teach him that like I teach him what our love is for each other but I haven't been able been in a situation that I can teach him unconditional love like healthy unconditional love between me and a man and a partner to be able for him to have that when he grows up i hope i'm explaining that right because i just feel like i'm just jumbling all over the place but yeah we just i don't know it's sad and it's a little bit like like history is repeating itself but not not exactly not in the same way that i had but in a sense of witnessing positive healthy good relationships like i haven't been i haven't been in a space where i can provide that to him hopefully in the future but i have been in a space where i can show him when something isn't working when you're not happy when someone isn't treating you the way you should be you walk away no matter how hard it hurts how much it hurts um how painful it is you walk away because you deserve better i have been able to teach him that and i'm, I'm glad at least something came from it <laughs> from my, you know, negative situations. So I'm debating if I want to, so this is a Halo Glow liquid filter and it's not really supposed to be a foundation. Hold on, let me read this. This Glow Booster creates a skin enhancing 
soft focus effect for effortless radiance. It's the only filter you'll ever need. I feel like my skin doesn't look terrible with it. So we're just gonna go with this. We're just gonna leave this one for today. And that's it. And then I'll go on with my powder because I did wanna give that a try. So I'm just gonna blend it in some more. All right, let's see what our next topic is. I already touched on it a bit, but your outlook depends on the relationships that I witnessed around me. So I already mentioned like I didn't see the best relationships. Um, I didn't have like a positive role models of relationships growing up. So I didn't know what to look for in love. At, you know, as a teenager, when I'm starting to get those feelings, like I don't know what to look for. I just know like somebody's attractive. They're cute to me. I like them. I didn't have those like role models to look up to and or even people to like really talk to me like oh well you know this is what I'm feeling or this is what we're going through like can I get good positive advice like I didn't have that so now as an adult when I see all the fucked up shit that people do it's just like I'd rather be alone I'd rather be alone especially like I'm a woman and I'm interested in men Seeing all the, the fucked up shit that men these days do. Like, I, men have been doing fucked up shit since the beginning of time. But the fact that we're able to witness it because we have social media. We have so many different outlets that we can now see something as soon as it happens. Like, in a blink of an eye, something happens. We can see it on social media two seconds later. Like, because we have that and we see everything that's going on in the world so quickly... Like, that just puts it in my head. Like, I just want to be alone. I don't want to deal with the bullshit. If I don't have to deal with the bullshit, I'm not going to. Therefore, that's why I prefer to be alone. Not only from my own experiences, but seeing what other people experience. Just hearing the way that men think, it it just turns me off from, from men in general. It turns me off from wanting to date, from opening up to it. Like, child, I don't even know what to say at this point because I'm just over it. I'm over it. <laughs> I don't want to know nothing about them. This powder is like super hard to get out. I don't, I'm, I'm really having technical difficulties with this low ass powder. So I'm trying to make it do what it do. I'm just trying to get it to apply under my eye because them babies like to crease up badly. All right. I feel like I should have had more like bullet points under, <laughs> under my chat and I didn't. So Next is dating myself. I feel like I also got to a point, and I talked about this briefly in some of my vlogs, but like, I used to be the type of person that wouldn't go and do something by themselves. Like, I used to always ask someone, hey, do you wanna go do this? Do you wanna do that? And if they said no, then I wasn't going. Like, I wouldn't present myself somewhere, like at an outing, a party or something by myself because I was afraid to just step outside go somewhere you know by myself like i didn't want to go like let's say the movies like some people enjoy going to the movies by themselves i would have never done that before now i'm absolutely open to it have i, I haven't done it yet but i'm open to it like i'm okay with you know if i really want to go see a movie i can go by myself that's fine going out to eat by myself i would have never sat at a table out in a public restaurant by myself now i don't give a damn i will go by myself like that's just a part of me learning to be okay with just my pure existence being happy with myself and that's dating myself like i'm okay with just doing things alone i don't need another human being i don't need another soul to be there with me step by step for me to enjoy these things in life like i'm okay with doing it alone and i feel like that's a big step in um when you're healing from a relationship when you're like constantly used to being around your partner or just learning to be okay with doing things differently in life with changing like you don't just because you've always been that way doesn't mean you have to continue to always be that way you can absolutely change like i would be terrified to think of going somewhere all alone and now i don't give a damn i will go to the moon and back by my damn self if i have to <laughs> like for real all right i'm going in with my fit me powder i use light medium it's the number 20 i just pour mine out onto the lid but overall i enjoy being single like i enjoy just doing things on my own for myself i remember when i was younger I used to be like i don't know how people can like be together and have their own 
living spaces and not live together, not be together all the time, 24 seven, like not sleep together. You have your apartment, I have mine. Like I used to think that was weird, to be honest, like that's just the way that I thought. But honestly now, I may not be opposed to it. <laughs> <laughs> like your girl has changed and grown up and her mind has changed in a lot of ways because now i'm just like oh mm, i don't want you to come up into my space ruining my mm -mm. stay over there i stay over here and we do our thing together like that's it i am definitely in a very selfish stage in my life about myself i don't want anyone else's vibes energy nothing coming my way like at all i'm just gonna apply my um mario uh rose water my facial spray i like to use this sometimes in between my makeup but like i said i haven't done my makeup in so long that i felt like i was all over the place so it's so refreshing and it smells so good i just love putting this on now to fan it Before I go in and do my bronzing, I'm going to apply just a little bit of eyeshadow, not much. So this is the Morphe 35X Big Primpin' Shadow Palette. Love this. So pretty. I'm just going to apply a little bit of color. Just a little bit, not much. So what color? I kind of want just like a neutral. So I think I'm going to go with Glam Room. And because I'm not like big on eyeshadow, so I like to just do a little bit here and there, and that's it. Keep it going. Plus, my eyebrows aren't done, so I just feel like when my eyebrows ain't done, I don't want to do nothing to my eyeshadow at all, at all. It gave it a little color, a little something, something. I really hope that this girl check gave what I wanted it to give, because honestly... <laughs> It was just so random. So if you stuck beside me, thank you for sticking beside me, baby. I appreciate you. I don't know. I feel like getting ready is just with getting ready with me is just not my thing. But I try for y'all because I know y'all be asking for it. You know, I'll be trying things. I'll be trying. So I just did that real quick, and I'm gonna use. Where did it go? For my bronzing, I haven't really been contouring. I feel like. My contouring has been my bronzing for a very long time now, but I'm gonna use my Hoola Benefit um, powder. Did it? This. I'm gonna use that. I think it's a brush. My little, this is the brush that I use for it. I don't know, girl. I don't know. Do low. I just like pat it along and then I'll like do a upward motion. Girl, I'm telling you, I ain't no makeup artist, all right? I'm not. If you want a true makeup routine video, you got to go to a makeup channel, baby. Because <laughs> this ain't it. This is just how Britney does it. What works for Britney, okay? I was watching a video on TikTok where, like, the girl, like, she did it real cute and real funny, but... It was like she said, like form a triangle here, was it here? And but she brought hers like all the way down here. I don't. I got a big forehead, first of all. Second of all, I'm bringing it all the way down there. I go mostly right here in the middle, since my forehead is big, and then just very lightly on the sides. Just bring it down here, you know, to darken up that chin area a little bit, make it look like there's a little less than what there really is. Cause y'all, this double chin, she been she been showing off lately. She really, really, really been showing her ass. And I'm not here for it. No, girl. So I just dab a little more because I feel like it. <laughs> for real, for real. I don't even be caring no more about how my makeup turns out. I'll just be doing it. And that's it. Now we're going to do a little bit of highlighter. I'm going to use this one. This is one of my favorites. It's from the Makeup Revolution. And it is in... The highlighter is called Reloaded. It's like a super pretty color. But there's my brush. So I just take, this is an elf brush that I use. Take a little bit. I like to like rub it on my nose. Give it a little shine. The little cupid's bow. Okay, maybe that was too much. Um, just along the bridge of my nose. And then for my cheeks, I like to smile. You see that? 
Just dab it on. And then down here, my chin. Glaze it up, baby. Give me a lot of zona effect. Okay. <laughs> and then what else? Um, what else do I want to do? I'm going to do just something real quick to the eyebrows. Because I'm not feeling the way that they look in this bushy. First of all. First of all. They look a little crazy. So I'm going to brush them up. See, I don't know. I feel like once I... Because I do my brows first... And when I do that and then try to comb them out, like you can see all the foundation, like makeup, just within the hairs. And I don't like that. Give it a little sum. Let me put a little underneath my brow. How'd that look? See, my brows, when they're bushy, they be pissing me off. But I also have to get into a space where I don't get them waxed as often. Because then they'll get too thin. Like, girl. What? All right, our last little finishing touches because this is what I'm getting today, okay? Um, I felt like I am going to go ahead and use the Laura Mercier, the crayon stick, and just line, like, my bottom lashes. I gave it a little pop or whatever. So, yeah, I used the, the Laura Mercier crayon stick that was in my gift. and did that. I feel like I want to do a couple little freckles. This is my freckle pen that I got from color pop because i haven't used it all i haven't used this in a long time but i haven't used it all summer let me just make sure it still works okay i'm gonna give myself a couple little freckles real cute. oh real cute make it look cute whatever can y'all see them yeah they're a little bigger than what i would want oh no i haven't worn freckles in so long that if I would have thought about it, I was just going to mess it up. So I just needed to throw them on there and that's it. I'm also very heavy handed. So I feel like that's probably why they're coming out big. Okay, that's enough for the freckles. Freckle pen, you can go back. Thank you for your services. Now for my lips, I'm going to do KK Beauty Nude Liner in um, number one. So this is nude number one. Okay, then my bottom, I gotta fix my top. Okay, now that my liner is on, I'm gonna go in with my, I'm gonna use my Maybelline Lifter Gloss and this is the color Moon. So pretty, I love this color. I feel like your face can look okay when you do your makeup, but your face is not complete until you have something on your lips. Like, it's just not. You have to really, really, like, it just makes a huge difference. She cute. I love my Maybelline lifter glosses. Like, I have so many. <laughs> I feel like that puts that just it gives it the vibe that it needs like am i missing anything i think this is it i wanted a very cute natural look so now i'm gonna go ahead and um set my face with the setting powder i'm gonna use my setting spray now it is nyx plump finish y'all this stuff is good so let's finish her off Mm. she looking real cute okay real cute real cute real cute <laughs> so we made it to the end of the video thank you so much for sticking it out with me i appreciate you all so much definitely let me know what your thoughts were on some of the topics that i touched on if you want me to get more in depth on some of the thoughts that i spoke about definitely let me know this was a little hard to multitask so i couldn't fully get into it but if you want to hear me do like a full on girl chit chat, I will do that as well. For anything different, make sure that you comment that down below. Also give this video a big thumbs up. If you haven't yet, sis, subscribe. What are you doing? <laughs> but I did enjoy doing this video, giving you a little bit of my thoughts on some of these topics. And I want to say thank you again for watching. I will see you all in my next video. Bye.